We're off the map. We should go back, recheck the route. It's this way. Still burning. Oil bubbles up from the ground. The chamber channels it somehow. floor that's not just any metal it's liquid mercury shit that stuff's toxic fatal only step where i step huh? what did i say the explosives that's our bridge do this right it'll fall across Time to die, crazy lady. You okay? Yes, we ready? Physics for the win. Let's go. Millions. 
It belongs in a museum. my best friend, and I'm not one to forgive and forget. Now where's that shield? I am not yet defeated. Yes, you are. Time to go home. Cut! Freddy! I knew it! Whoo! I felt that one. You felt it too, right? Temple of Kataravala, take 39, tail slave. That's a wrap. Steven, this was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> oh, just like the old days. And these props. Jimbo killed it. <laughs> You did too, Johnny. Hey, uh, about my pitch. You know, the karate zombie thing? I'm thinking four films. Maybe a streaming series? Johnny, I don't have- You're right. Not here. I'll swing by your office after I change. Mm, I can't. Uh, have to be with the editors. Marsha will call you. Great. Have your assistant call me. That was great, Han. Wasn't it, though? We need to celebrate. I'm thinking private party. But, Johnny, we need to talk. You're not the martial arts megastar you once were, honey. You're lucky Steven owed you a favor. I'm telling you, Chris, we're fine. Can you join me in the fact-based universe just once? We're broke. We have to cut back. Cut back? On what? Step one is selling this place. Mm. I need a refill. Johnny, we can't keep this up. You spent 10,000 on that sculpture, 30,000 on that drone, and this damn sword. Three million dollars? Hey, Cento is history. That sword comes from... Ugh, that's not the point, Johnny! Chris, honey, the parts, the money, they're coming. Steven's movie is just the beginning. That's why I can't cut back. To be a success, I have to project it. If I don't, Johnny Cage is done. I didn't marry Johnny Cage. I married John Carlton. I'd give anything to have him back. Chris, come on, Chris, where are you going? Fuck! How do you like that, Mr. Haylist? <laughs> Thank God. Oh, Chris, honey, I... Where's my wife? What did you... Your wife left. She's fine. You will be too, if you cooperate. What do you want? Sento. You some kind of hired gun? Or do you know Sento's history? I know it. It's my family blade. No. No way, your Tyra clan. They've been dead for centuries. Not dead. Hiding. With Sento in my hands, I'll lead us out of the shadows. That's a great plan, stranger. Except for one thing. Sento's mine. And I won't give it up without a fight. My house, my rules.
So, you have a name or what? Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> I knew you weren't Tyra Clan. You know nothing, Cage. 400 years ago, the Tyra Clan were one of Japan's first families. They lost Sento after getting slaughtered at the siege of Aomori. There were survivors. They hid themselves by shedding the name Taira for Takahashi. They joined the Bakuto for its protection. The Yakuza's predecessors. From first family to crime family. I will break us free of the Yakuza's corruption. Reclaim our name and our position. But my clan won't follow me unless I prove that I can lead. That's why I need Sento. And that's Malibu's finest. It's a great story. Bullshit. <laughs> but great. You should seriously consider becoming a screenwriter. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. <laughs> Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi, a tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're <laughs> your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Yi Han, Liang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Ah. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a Hichuli. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. And scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my hachuli. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough. Ah, uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kuai Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks. But what's an Earthrealm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge. And because your service will change the arcs of your lives.
That is not a good idea. It is genius, Raiden. The next time we see Sub-Zero, I will have to thank him for inspiring it. Ow! See? It won't be effective. Maybe it's too effective. Uh, we just need to get on with it. I've been cooped up here for months. I can't base a cinematic universe on Outworld's monsters and magic if I don't ever see them. That's why you're here? Liu Kang said this gig would change the arc of my life. That's how it gets done. My ex will rue the day she gave up on me. <sighs> so selfless. Oh, please, Tattoo. You're just here to get your sword back. We all have our reasons for being here. Some better than others. But we are not here to fight among ourselves. We are here to fight for Earthrealm. It's about damn time. And today, one of you will be chosen to fight for it at the tournament. Only one of us, Lord Liu Kang? Isn't Outworld fielding several champions? The tournament's rules give the host realm that advantage, and it is Outworld's turn as host. You know, I don't know why I've never asked this, but, uh, <laughs> what's our record at this tournament? Earthrealm and Outworld have long been evenly matched, but Outworld is gaining strength. Should it win, its more militant factions will be emboldened. I thought you admired Outworld. It is a place of great knowledge, wealth, and beauty. But our realms do not share goals and beliefs. We coexist peacefully, because Outworld respects our strength. Should we show weakness, our rival will become our enemy. I will not lose, Lord Liu Kang. First, you must win the right to represent us. Whichever one of you outlasts the others will be chosen. Raiden, step forward. <laughs> Good call. Call the weak first. You shall face him, Johnny Cage. Ready for your close-up? All right, let's do this. But remember, farm boy, I'm a global martial arts icon. I don't think you can handle this much boom. I am ready, Johnny Cage. My mind and spirit fight as one. This fight was an honor. You're welcome. Kenshi Takahashi, you are next. You have skills, Raiden, but you're inexperienced. Whatever experience I lack, I make up for in heart. It's nerve, not heart, that wins fights. I should know. I've been in hundreds of them. Do you still question my nerve? I do not. Yours was a well-earned victory. You may rest, Raiden. This evening, you will face your final opponent. Fifty bucks says Kung Lao wins. Make it interesting. Bet me Sento. <laughs> Not on your life. Raiden, Kung Lao. The winner of this match will represent Earthrealm against Outworld. It is a grave duty, not to be undertaken lightly. You may step back now and suffer no dishonor. I choose to fight, Lord Liu Kang. As do I. Then may the best person win. <laughs> Concede, Raiden. You have never beaten me. That won't change today. No. If the monks have taught us one thing, it's that the only constant in the universe is change.
There is a first time for everything, Kung Lao. Although you have all trained well, Raiden has excelled. This outcome does not surprise me. How could I have... Congratulations, Raiden. For the tenement, you will need this. Forged by the Elder Gods, it gives the wearer power over lightning and thunder. Go ahead, try it. Incredible. But is it necessary? In addition to possessing great might, the outworlders you will face also wield great magic. The amulet levels the playing field. You must be careful, Raiden. You could get hurt, even killed. No tournament participant has ever been grievously injured or killed. <laughs> I would never send my champions unwittingly into mortal combat. We leave in seven days for Outworld's capital, Sundo. The tournament will be held at the palace of Empress Sindel. Outworld can be both alien and intoxicating to Earthrealmers. Do not become drawn in. You must focus on the task at hand. Sindel's daughters, yes. They do not disappoint. We are Earthrealm's ambassadors, Johnny. We'll show them respect, not unwanted attention. Lord Liu Kang, welcome. Thank you, Princess Melina. You remember my sister? Of course, Princess Kitana. May I introduce Johnny Cage, Kung Lao, Kenshi Takahashi, and Earthrealm's champion, Raiden. I hope you're prepared, Raiden. Our champions are determined to win. None more so than me. It's been too long since we've known victory. Princess Melina, we should be on our way. Empress Sindel awaits. Thank you, Tanya. Follow me, please. Six-armed beings are not Nodens. The monks described them, but seeing them in person? I see that Her Majesty once again spares no expense on the festival. Should she not? It commemorates my late father. I admire, Princess. I do not judge. As did all of Outworld, I valued greatly Jared's fellowship. <laughs> Thank you. 
First constable, our route was to be clear. This couldn't wait. Should I allow Tarkatans to infect the city, your highness? Those arrested were harboring some here, rather than report them for quarantine. The Earth Realmers cannot be privy to our secrets, Li Mei. As Sundo's first constable, you must show better judgment. Perhaps that's too much to expect. Princess Melina doesn't seem to like her very much. Li Mei used to lead the Umgadi, the palace guard. It was on her watch that the princess's father was murdered. Worry expends energy for no purpose, Raiden. But the tournament, if I lose... Focus on your actions, not the outcome. It is all you can control. Red alert. Incoming stock villain. General Shaw. Do not let him go to you. <laughs> is it me? Or is Earth Realm's champion scrawnier than usual? Would you care to test his strength? Raiden will will prove himself soon enough. Have you still not told most Earth Realmers that Outworld exists? It is safer that way, General. I suppose so. Your people's frail minds couldn't handle the truth. You presume them frail, General. Should you, given how frequently they win this tournament? We will destroy your champion, Liu Kang. He will taste no victory. Welcome, members of the Royal House. Welcome, our esteemed Earthrealm guests. We gather once again to honor my late husband's legacy, to continue the tournament that he founded with Lord Liu Kang in hopes that it would foster peace among realms. May Jared's soul watch over us with pride from its resting place in the living forest. Lord Liu Kang. Empress Sindel, it pleases me to once again be your guest. Here, you are always welcome. Now, let us meet your champion. Earthrealm's champion is Raiden, your majesty. He has earned his place by embodying the very best qualities of Earthrealm's people. You seem nervous, young man. I'm a stranger in an unfamiliar land, here to compete against its greatest fighters. Yes, I am nervous. As you should be, you have a difficult path ahead. It has begun. As tradition requires, Outworld's initial competitor will be Sundo's first constable, Li Mei. May she defend our realm's glory, as well as she preserves our capital's order. Your Majesty, I will honor both the Royal House and all of Outworld with my combat. If so, you will vastly exceed my expectations. Remember, were it not for Jared's tradition, you would not be here. All you need do is your best. The rest will take care of itself. Yes, Lord Liu Kang. Shall we see what you can do? Hopefully, this will be the first of many victories. I will prevail, Earthrealmer. 
This fight is more important to me than you can ever know. Felled by a simple farmer. I am ready for my next opponent, Your Majesty. Whom shall I face? Patience, young man. We are adjourned until first light. I hope to see you all at this evening's banquet. I'm sorry, you're 10,000 years old? Oh, talk about aging gracefully. What do you see in him? He is a hero, Raiden. Though he may not yet know it. Do you recognize everyone here? Most, yes. From your descriptions. Except for him. That is Rain, the High Mage of Outworld. Not his given name but one earned due to his mastery of water magic. Are you unwell, princess? Uh, I am fine, Tanya. I know I'm to fight Melina, but will I also face Tanya? By tradition, you should not. If you did, you would be tested. Why? Umgadi, like Tanya, are warrior priestesses, selected from the firstborn daughters of Outworld. From infancy, they are trained to defend the royal family. Outworld must see much conflict if the Empress needs such protection. Its past has been difficult. Though the last thousand years of Empress Sindel's reign have been a true golden age, the memories of that strife still linger. My husband, Jared, believed that the future of our realms lay together. Let us move forward in open dialogue, letting no secrets tear our bonds asunder. Your Majesty, it's an honor to be here and to meet your people. I can already see there's more that joins us than divides us. <laughs> our peoples could not be more different, champion. Excuse me? You heard me. Earth realm is a devoid of all... That's enough, General. My apologies, Your Majesty. Perhaps I've enjoyed too much of this excellent wine. With your permission... You may go. over. I have done it. Congratulations, Raiden. Earthrealm wins. <clears throat> May I assist you? Stay away, Earthrealmer. Well done. You have exceeded my greatest expectations. Thank you, Lord Liu Kang. Because of you, the Outworlders who would disturb the peace will once again be held at bay. Come, let us bid our hosts farewell and return to Earthrealm. All right, yeah! That was great! Very impressive. It's been eons. It's good to see you. Likewise, Lord Liu Kang. I have watched you with the hourglass. 
You are relishing your role as Earthrealm's protector. It suits me far better than being Keeper of Time ever did. I never wanted to replace Kronika. Being history's architect drove her mad. I had no wish to share her fate. Which is why I am forever grateful that you volunteered to safeguard the Hourglass. Despite my having relinquished its power, the new era has unfolded as it should. You created me in your own image. Duty is my highest calling. While I am glad you are here, you are not one for social calls. Is there trouble with the Hourglass? With something it has shown me. What, Geras? When you restarted history, you altered the destinies of certain malefactors to neutralize them. At least one of them is defying that destiny. Shang Tsung. Go on. He has escaped his meaningless life and is on his way to becoming a powerful sorcerer. He has already infiltrated Sindel's court. I saw no sign of him during the tournament. But if that snake is in Sindel's ear... Your vision of peace may already be compromised. I appreciate this warning, Giris. I will investigate. Please return to the Hourglass and see what else you can learn. So we find him in Outworld and bring him here for questioning? Yes. If what I fear has happened, he is a grave threat to the realms. Anything else? Shang Tsung is a master of deceit. Do not trust a word he utters. Sounds a lot like my first agents. It's a tricky mission. I'd rather Raiden go along than this one. Hey! This one is up for the job. This mission must be done quietly. I am breaking my word with Empress Sindel by sending you into Outworld without her knowledge. Due to the tournament, Raiden is now a familiar face there. Sending him will only increase your risk of being discovered. This talisman is attuned to Shang Tsung's Qi. Follow it to him. And be careful. May the Elder Gods protect you. Uh, are we there yet? Again? How old are you? Five? What can I say? These boots weren't made for walking. If that is the most pain you feel today, Consider yourself lucky. Oh, I'm already lucky. I've got Sento strapped to my back. I will reclaim it, Cage. Got three million? It's yours. You know I don't have it. I bet your Yakuza pals could come up with it. Oh, that's right. You blew them off. Ah, if there's one lesson Hollywood's taught me, it's never burn bridges. You never know who can help. The Yakuza are leeches. Bleeding out those too weak to resist. I grew up in that life, and I never understood it. Why my gain required others' pain. I got out. I need my clan out too. We can't be part of their crimes any longer. your precious say? That Shang Tsung is among those... things. Oh, my fans are gonna go nuts cosplaying them a cage gone. Hold him still. If he squirms, I cannot extract marrow. That's Shang Tsung. 
Let's jump him after he's done. Oh, in fists of iron? We did this thing where, like, we... We're not basing strategy on your movies, Cage. Let me go! You can't do this! The wound will heal in time. It is a small price to pay for progress. On second thought, this scene's playing fine without us. <gasps> yeah, I say we let him finish it. We have to save Shang Tsung. Liu Kang needs him alive. you'd want to, but you can't. You're one of his minions. You'll die in his place. Now please, let me explain. Uh, you got us into this. How about getting us out? I know what this looks like, but we don't work for Shang Tsung. If not, why save him? Because Liu Kang, Earthrealm's protector, wants to question him. He thinks Shang Tsung may be a threat to both our realms. I'm Kenshi Takahashi. <laughs> our kind do not shake hands. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend. Don't you know what we are? No, we don't. We are victims of Tarkat. The disease is not easily gotten, but you can't risk more close exposure. It disfigures, then debilitates. In time, it will turn us all into bloodthirsty monsters. Death is our only release. So you weren't always like this? I was once a rich merchant, but when I became ill, I was banished. Now I run this colony. I am Baraka. What does Shang Tsung want with your bone marrow, Baraka? I don't know. But he comes here each month to harvest it. Release us, and we'll capture Shang Tsung. And we'll find out why he's been coming here. I promise. Let them go. Thank you. We won't let you down. This was guiding us to Shang Tsung. Now we can't find him. His laboratory is near. I'll take you. Any idea what to expect? No. I've never been inside. Stay here. We'll check it out. Tin larva proved an inspired choice. In testing, outcomes improved significantly. And I have modified the formula since the last time it was administered. It uses several new ingredients. This new serum is exactly what we need. Its effects will be immediate and long-lasting. How can you be sure? Because it is brewed from freshly extracted Tarkatan marrow, it couldn't be more potent. He is infecting Melina with Tarkat. And he's got two of Sindel's top dogs in on it. No wonder Liu Kang is worried about this guy. We need to stop him. 
Save a distressed damsel? <laughs> sure thing. Get away from her, you bitch. Excuse me? You know, the movie. Tiny girl, ginormous alien. No? Seriously? Earthrealmers. How did they find it? They've already seen too much. I need time. Buy it for me. Liu Kang sent you, didn't he? Sent you to learn our secrets. He sent us here for Shang Tsung. But it looks like he's just part of the problem. The High Mage is brought low. I thought Umgadi were loyal to the royal house. Yet here you are, scheming against the princess. You trespass in Outworld. Interfere in Imperial matters. It is you, not I, who is the schemer here. Your plot is over. Step away from the table. This is twice you've been a thorn in my side. You Earthrealmers do have unhealthy habits. You heard him. You're not infecting her with Tarkat. I am trying to protect her, not infect her. We've heard about how you lie. Excuse us if we're skeptical. Cover him. Princess, are you all right? Uh, is it over? Yes, you're safe. We've stopped Shang Tsung. Stopped him? Why? <laughs> Princess! Princess, what's wrong? What did you do to her? It's what you've done, fool. Let me help her before it's too late. Time to finish more serum. Johnny, a hand? We got pages for this? Or are we winging it? Whatever we do, we can't hurt her. Her? I'm worried about us. <laughs> Princess, we can help you. Your blood. I smell it. How sweet it will be to lick off my fingers. Johnny, Kong Lao, help hold her down. It's now or never, Shang Tsung. sent to disrupt your sister's treatment and scandalize Outworld by revealing her illness. What? That's totally fake news! Princess, we were just... Thank you, Goro. I have no stomach for Earthrealm lies. We should detain the Earthrealmers and the Tarkatan we found outside. At least until the Empress is ready to respond to this incursion. Agreed. A 
But she must realize that this incident proves Earthrealm's bad faith. We must strike them now to protect ourselves. No. no they would not do this. There must be a misunderstanding. It is no misunderstanding, Princess. It is a confirmation of my prophecy. Left unchecked, Liu Kang will conquer Outworld. I apologize for not arriving sooner to defend your sister. I am glad she received her treatment. The Princess is safe, but the threat from Earthrealm remains. Yes. Quan Chi, when do you anticipate they will strike? Soon. Today's events were foretold in the final quatrains of the prophecy. Then I am right. We must act now, Princess. I will take your concerns to the Empress. It is for her to decide. Rain, Tanya, assist me. What truly happened here, Sorcerer? That the Earthrealmers interrupted the Princess's treatment was happenstance. They were here to capture me for Liu Kang. You? Why? That I must investigate. For now, let us revel in our good fortune. The Earthrealmers' serendipitous arrival has given us ample evidence to convince the Empress of the truth of Quan Chi's prophecy. Conflict with Earthrealm is now inevitable. Not necessarily. The Empress has never been eager for conflict. If she resists, she will be replaced. Outworld needs a steadfast leader. A leader like you, perhaps. If my realm requires it of me, Kill the Earthrealmers. They cannot report back to Liu Kang. Oh, their deaths will also feed the ire between realms. Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Our benefactor will be pleased. She needs the realms at war, not at the brink of it, in order to conquer them both. Only then will we rule at her side. Before she found me languishing in the mines, I would not have thought such a thing possible. But soon, Sheila transformed us from serfs into scions. for hours. If you could see, you'd know why. That's not happening, is it? Keep talking, will ya? To keep my mind off this. Tell me about life before you got sick. I was doing well, trading goods up and down the far top coast. My family was comfortable, happy. Then, Tarkat came. It took my wife, then my children. Cruelly, it lets me live for now. I think it enjoys ravaging my body more slowly. Ugh. This hangover. Oh. Kenji. God damn it. How bad's the pain? Excruciating. You saved me. I won't forget that. But you may just regret it. 
What are you doing? When did we take the left turn into survival horror? This is Shang Tsung's real laboratory. We're beneath where we were before. That was a false front. Reminds me of this cheap-ass film I did in my early days. Flesh Pits. God, that was trash. Who's that? Our jailer. How is he? His eyes are gouged out. Guess. That will dull the pain. You're vile to be part of this. You are Shang Tsung's prisoner. I am his slave. He has my family. He'll kill them if I don't obey. Did she pick you? So he could learn how I shapeshift. He learned that from you? We saw him do that. It was unreal. So how does it work? You just shapeshift in anything you want? I can shift only between this and my natural form. Whoa. You're Zetaren. Your race can shapeshift. None can except me. Are they ready? It's time. Time for what, sorcerer? Replication experiments. They begin with your vivisection. I'll use your harvested parts to build new creations. The process is fatal, of course. Liu Kang won't let you get away with this. <laughs> that presumes he will ever learn what happened. But when I am done, there will be no trace left of you. I shall return soon to check progress. I have other matters to which I must attend. You don't have to do this! It's either you or my family. Put them in the chamber.
I'm ruined! Sang Tsung will punish me for this by torturing my family. You'll pay for their suffering, Tarkatan. We are leaving. Then kill me. If I die, maybe he'll spare my family. No. I won't murder you. It's mercy, not murder. Not that what I've done deserves yours. You were protecting your family. I would have done the same. What has happened here? Sizoth, you fool! You've let them ruin everything. We're going, sorcerer! And we're taking you with us. Liu Kang would like a word. I cannot be apprehended so easily. And I, Magnetic! Yeah, I got a bad feeling about this. I bid you all farewell. Cheer up, Sizoth. I'm reuniting you with your family. They're dead! You killed them? Many moons ago. I do hate loose ends. We gotta get out of here. What's wrong? Dad, the door must have sealed when the gas was released. Stand aside. Test your might. Slow you down. What? Shang Tsung finds you, he'll kill you. Look at me, Cage. I'm useless. Don't risk your lives to save mine. Hey, you are not giving up. The Tyra need you, remember? We are gonna get back home and figure out how to help you. Got it? We can't linger. We'll be captured. We need help getting Kenshi to the portal at Sundo. I can take you only to the city's gate. The curtains are forbidden inside. I'll see you the rest of the way. It's the least I can do to make amends. God, this reminds me of Wicked Planet. We had this forest in the second act. The Manticore battle. Yes! It was a pain to shoot, but man, did it come out epic. I can picture it exactly. This is the living forest. Aren't all forests living, Baraka? No others have trees that house the souls of the dead. Whoa, whoa wait a tick. We're talking ghosts? Good ones, not evil. You guys know anybody in here? Some distant relatives. You will find no Zaterans. Why not? The warm bloods don't welcome us. So we keep to ourselves, living underground in Zikander province. Then how did you meet Shang Tsung? That I could take human form made me a freak among my people. I was terrorized and run out. Starving and beggared, I joined a traveling carnival. Turned out there were many who would pay good money to see my gift. Uh, back then, Shang Tsung was a, a huckster. We crossed paths, and he saw what I could do. When he began to learn real sorcery, he asked to study me. When I declined, he took my family hostage. Well, that's an offer you can't refuse. He is dangerous. And he has plans. He, General Shao, Rain, they are conspiring. To do what? I can't say for certain. 
I've only overheard fragments. She sends more demons? Wait! We're not! With each of you I kill, my absolution grows nearer. Shedding your blood brings me closer to the light. Whoever you are, we are not demons. If not demons, what are you? He's the Terran. I am a Denian. Or I was before my Tarkat affliction. Outworlders? Apologies. I'm glad I've caused neither of you permanent injury. <laughs> what is that? Just keep swimming. So, who's our femme fatale? I am Ashra, demon of the Netherrealm. Demon? You look human, mostly. And what's a nether realm? The monks covered that with us. Did you sleep through every lesson? That one, apparently. <sighs> nether realm's hell, but real. No shit. I appear nearly human because I've purged most evil from my soul. When I'm done, the last vestiges of my demonic form will fade away. Why were the demons after you? They were sent by Quan Chi, my former master. I was part of his sisterhood of shadow. He wanted, still wants, dominion over the realms. I renounced him when I realized that I could not help him defile them. And now he wants you dead. Precisely. I followed Quan Chi from the nether realm here. He's building devices that steal souls on a mass scale. He's testing the first on the dead that reside in the forest. Why steal souls, Ashra? To harness their power. To what end, I don't know. But I do know that it's to aid the designs of another sorcerer. Sheng Tsung. Damn it. That guy's everywhere. You're sure Quan Chi is here? My Chris senses him. He's nearby. No, no. We're getting you home. We have a job to do. Quan Chi could lead us to Shang Tsung. Your Liu Kang is right. Shang Tsung's a danger that must be dealt with. I will aid you. As will I. Uh, well, I guess the eyes have it. Motion carries. Ashra, lead the way. She is close. The emanations of his evil grow stronger. That is a powerful weapon. And my perfect ally. As I smite the evil it finds, I am further purified. Now I've done steps, so I'm all for self-help. But since when does a demoness want to be less evil? I had spent eternity damned to the Netherrealm. I had assumed that's all there was to existence. But then I saw Earthrealm, saw Outworld, saw there was a better way to live, and that to have it, I needed to cleanse my soul. My sister demons were furious at my change of heart. Kia and Jataka were the first to hunt me. Quan Chi is also a demon? Actually, he's an Outworlder. But he mastered the dark magic needed for unfettered travel to my realm. Any idea how he buddied up with Shang Tsung? They share a common benefactor. She plucked them both from obscurity, taught them everything they know. I've never met her, but there's no question that she is a sorceress beyond compare. Quan 
she is near. I am ready for your contributions. Excellent, Nitara. I need yours as well. Darius and I have been thinking, sorcerer. Do not try to renegotiate, Havoc. We need proof that you'll deliver. That he's delivered for Natara's Veternians is all the proof you need. Serena's right. Because of Quan Chi's magic, my realm's people are no longer poisoned by sunlight. We've finally escaped the shadows. Rest assured, the spells you will receive will bring down Order Realm's government. When will we have them, Quan Chi? After the attack on Earthrealm. Which could be called off if the Soul Stealer's efficacy isn't demonstrated promptly. Earthrealm is in grave danger. Just one soul stealer can kill hundreds of thousands. If he unleashes a battery of their money... Millions will die. He must be stopped. I will deal with Quan Chi. The four of you subdue the others. Whoa there, big fella. This stops where you get off. You heard her. Millions could die. Which is why we don't want you tripping us up out there. Now... Give me your sword. Why? Just give it. What? I can't. Not when you've you saved my life. It's yours. Capture, Ashra. And now it appears you've found allies. We are joined against you, sorcerer. You won't be stealing any souls. It was forged to destroy evil. It's slain many of your vampire kind. We can't help what we are. That we feed on blood doesn't make us evil. I am one step closer to redemption. Kusimaratov! <laughs>
Dark magic is this. We are Ermac. A collection of souls bound by Quan Chi's magic. We live to obey his commands. Kill them. He must succeed if I'm to liberate Order Realm. I'll not let him fail. Killing one realm to free another is a heinous proposition. One I won't let you fulfill. When I'm finished here, I will finish you. Now has his power. That was unexpected. You're telling me. Shall we finish this? Let's. This fight's not over. I'll defeat all of Quan Chi's minions. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. Resistance is never pointless. We are many. You are one. We will destroy you. What's wrong with him? Combat must have weakened the magic that binds his souls together. Sindel, I'll find you. What was that? Watch him. I'll shut down the soul stealer. Since that didn't kill you, I will. No, Ashra. He's too dangerous to let live. Liu Kang needs to question him. He knows Shang Tsung's plans. <sighs> Very well. Well, clearly I underpaid for that. Did you know what it could do? The legends never mentioned mystical powers. The souls of my ancestors live within it. They intend to guide me. Just don't forget who gave it to you, Takahashi. I won't, Cage. 
Now, let's get him to Earthrealm. I know home's here for you, Baraka. But size off, Ashra. You can come with if you want. I'm sure Liu Kang will welcome you. I've never had a home. That would be wonderful. Sendai! Now I Report, Shang Tsung. The Soul Stealers are under construction. Quan Chi tests the final components as we speak. And the army? Will obey your every command, once it's been fed sufficient souls. I've also conceived a plan to break the Lin Kuei away from Liu Kang. Instead of defending Earthrealm, they will betray it. Excellent. You have learned quickly, Shang Tsung. And well, you will soon reap the bounty of what you've sown. these earth roamers we're looking for you have their descriptions you can at least tell me why they're here what they've done state secrets not for your ears yes princess fetch us water please as you wish Careful, sister. Entanglements with Ungadi are forbidden. You know their vows. Who told you? No one. I have eyes. As do the snakes at court who would cheer your downfall. The Ungadi's rules are ridiculous. And you can change them when you are Empress. For now, you cannot jeopardize your ascension. Night night, sweet Prince of Darkness. Oh, perfect. You'll fit right in. You couldn't steal a more functional hat. What? It hides your face. And honestly, it suits you. I still don't know about this. Carrying him around will attract unwanted attention. Look at it out there. It's like Mardi Gras. People will think you just party too hard. <clears throat> What's the word? Go toward the stage, then right to the portal gate. But there are soldiers and constables everywhere. Are you sure these are enough? One person spots us, and we are dead. And that's why I'll create a diversion. They're out for you too, Sizoth. To catch me? They must see. Damn. You didn't tell me you could go full predator. Good work. 
Dark Sizzle. Come, Princess. Unhand me. I'm going nowhere. Douse the fires! Find who set them! Stand down, General. This is my problem, not the military's. Look. Size off. You know him? Who is he? Unimportant. But it means the Earth Realmers are here. Rico. Get him. Blood? You're Zaterran. How can you- There is much you don't know. Like what the General is truly up to. Surrender and I'll hear you out. I can't if you resist arrest. You arrest me, he'll execute me. And that's not how I intend to die. My sentence is suspended, Umgadi. one of my movies we get saved by a plucky comic sidekick yeah. <gasps> if we die today we die together not comic but definitely plucky It's unlike Shang Tsung to leave loose ends. Now that I'm free of him, I'll reveal your conspiracy to all of Outworld. <laughs> You'll do nothing of the kind. Dead men tell no tales. You won't silence me, General. We must go. Now! <laughs> Johnny, Kenshi, Kung Lao. You have safely returned. By the Elder Gods. Yeah, we had a run-in with Princess Melina's inner demons. She took my sight, but Sento, in its own way, restored it. I am glad that Sento bonded with you. Though my hope was that the means would be different this time. This time? Forgive me, Kenshi. I misspoke. The monks will tend to your wounds. We found Shang Tsung, but he got away. I can see why you're twitchy about him. He's neck deep in some serious shit. Rest. Eat. Then we will discuss. Can I also get a martini? Shaken, not stirred? 
Ah, I'm sorry. Meet the newest members of the Earthrealm players. We wouldn't have made it back without them. Astra and Sizos. You know us? As Earthrealm's protector, there is much I know. Do you also know of my former master, Quan Chi? He colludes with Sheng Tsung. A new deadly alliance? Come, all of you. You must tell me all you know. Well, so much for that martini. <laughs> My ex was so wrong. The 30k I spent on this seems like a steal right now. This magic is incredible. Not magic, your loveliness. Technology. Either way, it's clear what must happen next. The gateways and the dragon army have to be destroyed. Scorpion, have you a plan? We must divide our forces. You, Shang Tsung, Quan Chi. We'll use your magic to attack the portals. As you do, Kenshi and Jared will grind down the dragon army. The rest of us will attack our dark doubles. If they're defeated, it will hopefully throw the dragon warriors into disarray. An astute strategy. Truly, I could not have devised a better one. Enough with the empty flattery. If you want our trust, give us actions, not words. It will be the end of all things. Armageddon. Is unfortunate. The battle continues, Shang Tsung. Quan Chi, with me. I, for one, am not pleased we were double-crossed. It is an ire I share. May I suggest we harness our anger and use it to obliterate my doppelganger's minion.
Prepare to be dismembered. I'm telling you, the locations we found here are money. I mean, look at this. Don't the rainbow colors on these mountains just scream, Outworld? I cannot believe you'll be telling our story about how we defeated Shang Tsung. Well, the studio thinks it's fiction, not fact. <laughs> but I don't care, as long as it's covering the budget. <laughs> I assume you'll be the star. Nope, I'm behind the camera, writing and directing. Time to let someone younger and prettier take the lead. You know, I've written in parts for all of you, if you want them. Us? On screen? I mean, they're cameos. But like they say, there are no small parts. Thank you, Johnny. But we must decline. But Raiden! The new initiates arrive tomorrow. We must return to the Wuxi to begin their instruction. Of course, you are right. What about you, Takahashi? I need a blind swordsman. And no actor can do what you do. <laughs> I would love to. But my work to revive the Tyra is starting to pay off. I can't let up now. Well, I know better than to ask you. Your plate is always full. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Which is why I must now depart. Off to Outworld? To advise the Empress? Between her father and her sister, Melina is receiving plenty of good advice. And with the sorcerers and the general imprisoned, there are few threats to her rule. Is something wrong, then? I am simply shoring up our defenses. As you know, Bi Han and his Lin Kuei have abandoned their roles as Earthrealm's guardians. His brother, Kuai Liang, has agreed to build a new clan, the Shirai Ryu, to take its place. I must go aid his efforts. Is there anything we can do? Not yet, but I will call upon all of you when the time comes. Madame Bo, once again you have served an excellent meal. That's kind of you to say. Enjoy the rest of your evening. And thank you, all of you. You have served well as Earthrealm's champions. No, Liu Kang. Thank you. Joining up with you really has changed the arcs of our lives. I am glad. All right, gentlemen. If you're finished, there's only one thing left to do. Which one of you gets the bad news? Whew, not me. I'm still three mil in the hole on Sento. How uh, thick's your wallet, Takahashi? Thick enough. But seems to me our hosts are on the hook. They did invite you us. You think we have money? The Shaolin live modestly. Don't worry, Sean. I've got this covered. Besides, my business manager tells me I can write this whole thing off. The realms are in safe hands.